and it's Lou on two day. Lou on Tuesday. Lou on two. I know you know what I mean. So both of the dogs are up on the bed with me. Hopefully they won't be too loud. <laughs> but if they are, hey, it's life. So I'm going to try to keep them busy. I haven't done a, um, I used to call it purposeful tossing. Is that what I called it? Purposeful tossing. And for those of you who are new, I'm going to explain what this is and how it got started. For those of you who know the story, just go get a cup of milk or something. Okay, you really have to be quiet, guys. So, years and years, I make, you know, years resolutions every, I think this, I have to stop. All right, never mind, I'll be right back. Okay, they're going to behave, right? Right? Yes, I know. I know. I know. So, I take my New Year's resolutions very seriously. I start thinking about them in October. I whittle down. I whittle down. And the thing that I do is they're very uh, broken down into tiny, tiny bits, which makes it reasonable. And I, I put them up on the fridge or wherever, and I really do check with them. So years ago, instead of saying, I'm going to be more organized or I'm going to declutter the house or whatever, um, I broke it down into, on the first 10 days of every month, I'm going to throw 10 things away. Not 9, not 11. I'm not going to open a junk door and just go crazy because I knew that would be too much. It, it just, to be able to do that all year long. I've been now doing this for years. It's no longer a resolution. It's just part of my life. And I've made a few videos about it because I thought it was kind of interesting. And in my Facebook group, are you... Are you in my Facebook group yet? We talk about everything. The other day we were talking about Miss Lucy. I don't think you can see her. Come here. Can you get up here? Can you come in? Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Here's well. There's your nose. Anyway, Lucy's butt and poo. And I learned a new term about Klingons. Need I explain more? So there was an entire thread about dogs and poo and blankets and things. So we talk about all kinds of fun things. And where was I going with this? Oh, that you should join my Facebook group. One of our members, Patricia, I'm not going to say her whole name, mentioned that she hadn't seen one of these in a while. And I said, hey, I'll do it. So I, some of the stuff I've already thrown out, but I started to keep things from this month that I've been throwing away, um, that I threw away the first 10 days of the month. And I was like, OK, I'll hold on to these. And it's interesting because I had kind of been thinking it was time to do one. Y'all were so nice. Okay, okay, all right, you're gonna go seepy. Why don't you go seepy? They're not going seepy. So, I just, I really thought they would behave. And, okay, it's about to get worse. Okay, okay, no. I'm sorry once again. I think we have peace. Anyway, I had been thinking of doing one, and then when Patricia did that, you know, I had been saving things up, and anyway, so I thought that would be today's Luan too. I'll show you what my 10 things are, because they're really quite small things. I, you know, you shouldn't picture I'm doing this whole overload every day of finding 10 things. It's the tiniest things. It's used batteries. But there's a hundred less little things in my house this month, and over the course of a year and two years. so. You know, I, I try so hard to recommend this to everyone when they say, oh, my house is a mess, I have so much stuff, I'm a hoarder. Ten things, the first ten days of the month. It, I suppose if we all did everything everybody said was so easy peasy, we'd need 28 hours in a day. You know, it's just five minutes to do this, and two minutes to do this, and three minutes to do this, and put aside ten minutes, and walk for 20, and prepare your meals for the week, and pretty soon you're like, excuse me, uh, this is just something you do while you're doing something else. You're waiting for the potatoes to boil and you're done, you know, cutting up the broccoli and now you have a few extra seconds. So I'm going to take you to my kitchen table where I've laid out a few days worth of things so you can see how really ordinary they are and maybe it will help you. So today's Lou on Two is about my purposeful tossing and getting to know Banks and Lucy. Banks is half English Bulldog and half Boston Terrier, personality of a Boston Terrier, and Lucy is a full English Bulldog. 
Banks is two, Lucy is seven months, eight months, something months. All right, let's go look at stuff. Ta-da, here we are. So this was, I don't know what day, I don't have all 10 days here, but this was my bathroom and I said, you know, I'm just gonna find 10 things and so there were a few beauty sponges that had seen better days, a mascara ID test, it's the voluminous feline, Ugh. I have more sharpeners than I would need. Why does one need all these sharpeners? So three sharpeners went, and this is an old MAC paint. I believe they still sell these. I used to love this as an eye primer, but it's a little Actually, it's a fabulous, and it's in canvas, uh, but it's a little too light, but I, I just, anyway, I found a hair tie that still had the metal in it, like, ouch, and then uh, I'm using a different neck, I'm using neck to firm, and firm is something, so I'm, I'm no longer needing this, and it's, I would give this to someone, but it's a tub and I've been digging into it forever. So there's 10 days. Just went around my bathroom, you know, as I was waiting for my serums to dry and just kept throwing it in a pile. This came from the junk drawer. Really, I could probably toss that entire junk drawer out. I have no idea. This my husband must have used to build, I don't know. Were these for cleats on football thing? I have no idea. This is a dried out white out liquid. Why this even moved to the new house, I don't know, because we were just dumping drawers and putting them in boxes. There's three of these things. I was trying to find a way to carry my eyeglasses with me, and these attach magnetically to your top, and then you hang, you loop your, you loop your glasses through it. It, it, it. It's too heavy, so it makes sure it pulls on your blouse. Or else from cars from who knows when. This is something I don't even know. My husband, there's this metal thing, it's, and this is a little like light which never is used. So that was one of the junk drawers, and I remember I was standing there just kind of looking at things and thinking I could dump the entire drawer, but I stop at 10. I mean, that's the beauty of this. You stop at 10. This is all from a drawer. There go the dogs. This is a drawer from a end table that just had stuff in it. I didn't even realize, actually. So you might remember these way back when. You would put this on a light bulb, and you'd put a scented oil in it. This is empty, which is why it's going. And as the light bulb warmed, the scent would dissipate. Now we have tart warmers and candles and oil diffusers is my favorite. So one, two. An old Christmas ornament, why it was in that drawer, I have no idea. This is a box from a Nike watch and uh, from the boys, one of the boys, and I'm way past Nike watch, anyway. So this was from um, a cell phone from who knows when, Sprint, like, can we look at that phone? Jeez, my knees. Paperwork still in there. This is some little cute advent wreath, which, sorry God. A bowling pin from a tournament it used to light up, as I recall, but anyway. Another oil that is dried up. This was light bulb. You know, they blink or they don't blink. They always used to give you one. I don't even know if they still do. Then there's like little fuse things. And this was paperwork to, I think, a camera. All in the same drawer. Like, I don't know, which was my crazy drawer. This was another kitchen drawer. Spatula, very cheap. I love these, but this one is inexpensive. I had two orange zesters, don't need that. I had a lot of these decorative spoons, kind of probably for hors d'oeuvres or jelly or jams or who do I think I am, the Queen of England serving jam all the time? These go to a mandolin, I never use them, they're taking up space, yet another one. And I don't use this kind of ice cream scoop. And there was an empty pepper shaker in that drawer. You know, just standing in the kitchen finding that. And this goes on with the kitchen drawer. I have too many utensils. Slotted spoon, lovely, don't need it. Three of these very sharp knives. I have some, these were never even open. Another slotted spoon, a spatula. I like the ones I have better. An old battery to who knows what. 
another old battery to who knows what. I don't like this wine stopper. It's supposed to keep wine fresh. I don't like it. And again, a bag of I don't know what. And then back to my bathroom. This is 10 eye brushes I don't want. These are just 10 eye brushes I don't want. I have plenty. Don't want these anymore. So uh, what happens to all of this? Things like this will go into my, I always have a Goodwill box going. It's actually a hamper. I have a hamper in my closet for clothes, and then I have a hamper out like in the laundry room. So I just keep tossing things like this in there. So many of these will go in there. I doubt, well, this is new and packed, so that might go in there. Who knows if whoever sees it will know. Well, it says what it is. I think it does, right? Yeah, fragrance ring. So these will all get tossed. They won't even be gifted. And I am going to put this in the Goodwill box because they're sealed. So that's where most things go. They either go in the trash or Goodwill. And uh, so that's what some of the things are this month. So you can see they're fast, they're quick. I don't think about it. I just do it. So let's see. I will be right back. So there you have it, my Luan 2 with my purposeful tossing. I'll put this in the series. I think I have a playlist of them. If not, maybe I need to build one. Uh, that's about it. I have, oh, you know what I did want to say is my last video, I was cleaning out my eyeshadow palettes and there was one that I was kind of like, should I keep? There were two actually. The Lorac Pro To Go, which had a lot of Disney World memories for me. And I wasn't sure if I was going to get rid of that for sentimental. And I don't have a lot of sentimental.